Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 24 this year, appointing Youth and Sports Affairs Minister as a member of the Higher Council for Education and Training Development for the same term specified for members of the Council, effective from the date of issuance to be published in the official Gazette. He also issued Edict 21, restructuring of the Miners Fund Council, chaired by the Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister, and eight members for a two-year renewable term. The Prime Minister issued Edict 22, transferring directors at the Civil Service Bureau, including Director of Communication Mohammed Hassan Al Awadi, to be Director of Institutional Performance, Director of Human and Financial Resources Islam Al Haiki, to be Director of Communication and Director of Workforce Planning. Daij Al Bin Ali to be Director of Jobs Evaluation. The edict also appoints Adnan Muhammad as Director of Human and Financial Resources and Amina Al Qud as Director of Administrative Organization and Engineering. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Arabia Palace today. Senior state officials, businessmen, and journalists. The Prime Minister highlighted the role of the private sector in the national economic development stressing the importance of commercial and economic unity to serve the best interests of the country and its economy amid ongoing developments. He noted their impact on Bahrain's economy, which requires everyone to bear their responsibilities so as to overcome all challenges. He reviewed governmental efforts to reinforce monitoring at governmental bodies in order to ensure responsible spending of public funds, praising the role of the National Audit Office in supporting governmental bodies to consolidate financial monitoring. The Prime Minister also commended the role of local and Gulf newspapers who became an essential partner in facing all challenges. He also said the Gulf Council is a solid entity that has a regional and international impact. He confirmed relations among Gulf countries and people are capable of creating a unified council towards more achievements that meet the aspirations of their people. His Royal Highness recalled the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and confirmed that these bilateral relations especially have a history of outstanding cooperation and coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa bin Ugdaybiya Palace, the Honorary President of the Good Word Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Society's Board, Hassan Bouhazar, who presented to him the Special Edition Book of the Society, which includes its activities and awards. The Prime Minister affirmed the importance of the humanitarian initiatives adopted by Sheikh Isa bin Ali, which sheds light on successful experiences of Arab societies who dedicate their efforts to serve humanitarian and voluntary work. He commended the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Award for Voluntary Work, which is a good example for Gulf and Arab competition and cooperation at the same time. He asserted the government's support to such humanitarian initiatives that reinforce humanitarian values in Arab societies. The Prime Minister highlighted the role of the young generation and voluntary work is based on the values and principle of Islam calling for more initiatives that upgrade the capabilities of individuals to be effective members in their society. Meanwhile, Sheikh Isa bin Ali thanked the Prime Minister for his constant support to voluntary work in Bahrain, which is encouraging people to exert more efforts in serving each other. He highlighted the Prime Minister's support to youth initiatives that reinforce cohesion and integrate it in the general culture of the people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rafar Palace today the newly appointed Pakistani Ambassador to Bahrain, Javid Malik. The Crown Prince affirmed that Bahrain's openness has reinforced its economic development foundations, highlighting the Kingdom's care for relations with East Asia, especially with Pakistan. He affirmed support to bilateral relations to achieve more progress for both countries and the economic, commercial, industrial and financial fields. 
He also asserted support to all initiatives aimed at enhancing their cooperation and all strategic aspects. For his part, the ambassador expressed keen interest to perform an effective role that serves the deep-rooted bilateral relations and expand fields of cooperation. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and the President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, clinched the eighth place in the Ironman Championship in South Africa today with the participation of more than 1,200 contestants from around the world. Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa finished in 10 hours and 49 minutes, finishing a 3,800 meter swimming distance in one hour, nine minutes, and two seconds and in 180 kilometers cycling in 5 hours, 16 minutes, and 28 seconds, and 42 kilometers running distance in 3 hours, 9 minutes. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his satisfaction for the positive Bahraini participation in the Ironman Championship in the city of Port Elizabeth, South Africa, stressing that the goals set have been achieved thanks to the enthusiasm and high spirit shown by all members of the team. He also said that Bahrain's team's active participation in the Ironman Championship in South Africa underlined the reputation of the people of Bahrain in the Ironman sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also underlined the continued support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government headed by the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the backing of the Crown Prince and the First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also hailed the victory of Bahrain's 13th endurance team member, Ben Hoffman, to the first place registering a new victory for Bahrain at a time of 8 hours and 12 minutes. The Shura Council Speaker Ali Saleh chaired the weekly meeting today in which the Council approved a report by the Services Committee regarding the General Organization for Social Insurance. The Council also approved an agreement regarding the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women, a draft law on the organization of industrial zones, establishing the Bahrain Exhibition and Convention Authority, regulating tourism, and transferring the functions of the Supreme Council for Vocational Training to the Labor Fund. The Council then approved the report by the Legal and Legislative Affairs Committee regarding the internal regulations of the Representative Council. The Journalism Freedom Committee of the General Union for Arab Journalists committed press freedom in the Kingdom of Bahrain in its annual report that was launched today in Cairo. Vice President of Bahraini Journalist Society and Acting Director of Bahrain News Agency, Mohamed Suleiman, said that all newspapers in Bahrain enjoy freedom of opinion and discussing all issues and opinions without any form of prior censorship. He asserted that the open atmosphere and organizational environment enabled journalists to work freely in the kingdom without being criticized. He said the report did not follow some of the inter international organizations' reports that are usually biased and subjective, praising the objectivity of the General Union for Arab Journalists in conducting its research and shedding light on the true facts.